Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hope that you're all well. Happy Tuesday. Okay, so I have got myself a lovely um, cup of ginger and lemon tea. I absolutely love this. Um, and I'm drinking it in my glass panda mug. I picked this up about a year ago from Asda. I think it was something like £2. Um, I thought I would do something different today, everyone. Um, and I thought that I would show you what is inside of my wardrobe. Now, don't worry, I've got no skeletons in the closet. Um, yeah, the reason for today's video, so obviously it's January. It is the hottest month of the year. You know, December is the most expensive month of the year. So yeah, I always try to be a little bit more mindful with what I'm spending in January. Um, and I was watching a video last week, so there's a lovely lady on YouTube, she's got her channel, got her own channel, and she's called Joella. Um, if you love seeing unboxings of, you know, um, beauty and makeup, she does a lot of different beauty boxes, that kind of thing, um, and I love watching them because, yeah, if you followed me for a while, you will know that I was a huge glossy box fan. Um, I think I've been with them for around about 16 months. My contract has just come to an end. I got my last, my last box in January. Um, so I'm not going to be resubscribing for a year with them. But I do have a, the February box. Um, I'm going to get get that because, um, yeah, just it's apparently going to have a Rituals product in it. So I do really want to get my hands on that box. But then after that, I think I'll just um, cancel it. Um, but yeah, so I was watching one of her videos um, and she was she did something called 22 for 22. And it was, she had got the inspiration from watching other people um, on their channels as well who had done similar videos. And she was saying, you know, um, she chose 22 products and the idea is to use them in 2022 rather than just having them in your wardrobe for, you know, years and years. Um, and then they, they end up going off, don't they? And you have to bin them. So, you know, it's it's waste. Um, so, yeah, I thought that I would give us an idea. And I thought, you know what? I thought, I've been getting Glossy Box for around about 16 months. And don't get us wrong, you know, I have used some of the products, but there's a hell of a lot that I haven't used. So yeah, I thought, you know what, I'm going to go through my wardrobe, I'm going to get all of the items out of the boxes, because to be honest, I used to just leave them in the boxes as well. So I thought I would get everything out, have a good look to see what I've got, and then I'm going to make sure that I use them this year. Instead of going out and buying more products that I think I need, um, I mean, I was going through my makeup um, box couple of days ago and I thought god I've got no makeup you know it's ancient old but then when I went through my glossy boxes there was highlighters all sorts in there you know mascaras there was eyeshadow palettes you know so I thought right I'm gonna go through everything and I thought I would bring you along with us so yeah just in case you know you're like me you buy things or you save things up and you know, a year goes by and then you still haven't used the product. Um, also, you know, I remember um, obviously the January sales, I went shopping and I did buy some homeware items, but I went to Boots and I was looking for gift sets. Um, I was a bit disappointed because they didn't have many left. But, you know, when I think about it now, did I even need them? No, I didn't. So, yeah, I thought that I would show you what I mean by having stuff in my wardrobe and, yeah, I'm going to start using them. And when I show you inside my wardrobe, I also have a small jewellery collection. Now, it's not a huge jewellery collection, um, but everything that I do have means something really special to me. Um, you know, it might have been bought. I, I bought some of the items myself. Some of them were gifts of um, me loved ones. Um, and yeah, that's another thing. I mean, I, you know, I've been married for, oh, 14 years. 
I don't know if you've noticed, I don't wear my wedding ring, I don't wear my engagement ring, I don't wear any jewellery, you know, and I've got jewellery, but yeah, I don't know why, I just don't bother wearing it unless I'm having like a night out. So that's another thing, I thought, you know what, my jewellery sits there in the boxes gathering dust and I should be wearing it and enjoying it. So yeah, I thought that I would show you my jewellery as well. Um, and I hope that it motivates you, I hope that it gives you, you know, the, um, the, just like the motivation to go and look in your own cupboards, drawers, wardrobes, um, yeah, just find what you've got, use what you've got, enjoy what you've got. So I've been rambling on for five minutes now, so yeah, I'm going to get on and show you everything that I've got. So if you want to see what is in my wardrobe then just continue to watch okay so i'm just about to open my wardrobe and show you what's inside okay so if i just start this is the section that i'm going to be showing you um yeah this section here so all of my clothes are over in this side um, and my husband has his clothes over this side and this is all kind of my section here so starting from the top as you can see I've got some um, candles up there, got them for, um, sorry, for autumn and yeah, I bought too many and didn't end up using them, but I will definitely use them next year, or sorry, this year, I keep forgetting that we're now in January. Um, yeah, up the top, I just have some pink boxes, they are my glossy boxes that I have seem to have accumulated and just don't want to part with them because I keep thinking I could recycle them and use them for something. Um, okay, so this shelf here has got, I'm sorry about the camera wobbling everyone. I'll take it off the stand and just hold it, I think. Had it on a stand. Okay, so this is um, some, that is all of kind of like my jewellery, which I will get out and show you. These are my Elemis products. I do use these a lot. I've got an oil behind there. This is the uh, Marine Cream. This is a cleanser. This is absolutely gorgeous, by the way. So I started off using this cleanser, which is the um, Rose Cleansing Balm, which is lovely. Um, and then my friend got me this for my birthday, and it's the Wildflower cleansing oil it's absolutely stunning i think i do prefer it to the bomb as you can see i've got various um exfoliators masks i've got some moisturizer there that's a moisturizer i've got some perfumes here um these are um recent buys these two these are rituals perfumes if you haven't smelled the perfumes in rituals oh my god they are stunning so yeah, I actually bought these um, last week. I thought that these were women's fragrances. I absolutely love the smell and I got them. And then I think I was online and when I had a look, they're actually men's fragrances. <laughs> but I mean, I personally think that they're unisex. I will be using them. I have serums in there, moisturizers. I have fake tans. So, you know, it just... <laughs> Just by getting everything together and kind of putting them all on the shelf, I can see exactly what I've got. And I know for a fact that a lot of these products I have never used or I've only used like once. Now, if I move down, I have got a brand new winter diffuser here. I've got a candle. These are from the White Company. Company. They've never been even opened. I also have, um, let's have a look, I've got some Rituals products here, um, I've got hand cream there, these are um, like a gift set, I've got lots of different wax melts down there, um, you know, I've got a little white company plate, I have got some little winter candles, um, what's these ones? These are the little ceramic bells. I mean, you know, all in that packaging. Um, and then if I move down, all of these items here were in, sorry, not the Redox items there and not the BB cream, but everything else that you can see was in 
um, these boxes here. So these are my glossy boxes. These are, apart from the, the pink one there, these are all kind of themed ones. Now, there is still products in those boxes because I couldn't fit them all onto the shelf. But I thought I would just kind of show you some of them. So here I have got um, perfume, I've got a lip mask, I've got an eye mask. Um, I also have some <laughs> cleansers here. So these are cleansers for your face. I've also got, I mean, there's just so many here, you know. I've got mud masky, um, different masks for your face, an eye mask. There is moisturizers, there is hand creams and hand scrubs. There is stuff for your nails. So, you know, this is like cuticle oil. Um, I've got nail polishes, I've got lip scrubs. I actually used that the other day and I was really impressed. So that's a nip fab. Um, vitamin C scrub for your face and I really really like that this is also nice I've only used this once this is a hand scrub and a moisturizer all in one I mean you know I've got the figs and rouge serum um, for your face here I've got the figs and rouge um, primer for your face I've got a setting spray here a hair mask and then in this section here so I've kind of tried to put them into sections um, this is a Clinique um, mascara I've got an e-cooking serum um, this is a tinted lip balm and then makeup so I've got like a Lottie I think this is like a glittery kind of um, eyeshadow you know I've got makeup brushes um, I've got this is a um, spotlight highlighting pencil. I've also got the Josephine um, highlighter. I've got a Josephine lip lipstick that I got. I mean, you know, when I've actually looked through it all, I can't believe how much stuff I've got. Um, you know, I've got an eye contour cream. This is an Elemis Marine Cream 15ml and then this is the Elemis Superfood Glow Primer Moisturiser. This is a 15ml as well. I've got the Symbolis um, cream for your face which was a lot of money. It was really expensive. I think that retails for something like, I want to say like close to £100. Um, you know, and I just, I was looking at through all of this and I just thought, you know what, I really, really need to start using some of these items. Um, I mean, if I just get some more of the products out and pop them on the bed to show you. Yeah, so, you know, I've actually got two of these. These are a bronzer. I've got um, eyeshadow palettes. You know, I've got, um, again, more um, highlighters and eyeliners. There's just a lot of products. So I've opened the palettes just to show you. Um, so this one is the Lash Splash, uh, Le Splash Cosmetic Moonlight Glow. It's really, really nice. I really like the colours in here. Um, yeah, you've got four in there. This one is a Steve Laurent eye shadow palette. How stunning are them colours? I love all of the um, the oranges and the browns and all of the glitter in there. Um, yeah, they're absolutely beautiful. And yeah, it just kind of got me thinking, you know, how much is too much? You know, at what point do you stop buying and start using your products? Um, I mean, this is just like a little um, cheek and lip tint. This is another kind of lip tint. This is um, like an anti-back um, solution. You know, I've got a little Lottie blusher there. Again, I've got another eyeshadow palette. I've got another, another e.l.f. eyeshadow palette there. Like I say, I still have items in there. I mean, if I just show you one of them here. Sorry, everybody. I'm getting out of breath. Um, 
Right, two seconds. If I just open the lid of this, um, you know, I'll you'll get a rough idea of what I'm talking about. So straight away, you know, I haven't even removed anything from this glossy box. Now this was a limited edition one. Um, I think this was 30 or 35 pound and I had 20 odd pound kind of credit. So I ended up paying like eight pound for this. Um, and yeah, inside of here, you know, you've got the orange and bergamot um, hand lotion. You've also got a neon amber body lotion. There is two perfumes in here. I also have um, an orange and bergamot um, hand wash. I've got the Recharge Black Pepper Bath and Shower Gel. I've got another Neon Amber Bath and Shower Gel. I've got a Ginger Lily Hand Cream. Um, you know, and I just, yeah, I just think I have got so many products. Okay, and then I have my makeup that I use in this box here. I'm not gonna get all of that out to show you. Okay, um, so I hope that you enjoyed watching some of my kind of beauty skincare, um, makeup products, all of the products that I get in my glossy boxes, um, my perfumes. Yeah, I just wanted to share them with you and yeah, they've def it's definitely made me realise that actually, do you know what? I don't need to go out and buy anything for a while. I'm definitely going to start using what I've got. And just by taking them out of, out of the boxes and putting them on the shelf, now that I can see them, I think I'll use them. Um, but yeah, I thought that I would show you some of my um, jewellery. I mean, this isn't everything. I think I do have um, like a... Or I did have some sort of like jewellery box somewhere that have got bits in, but I think they're more kind of cosmetic jewellery. Um, I want to start using some of the items and enjoy them and I just thought it would be useful to kind of go through them and share them because they are beautiful so yeah I thought it would be nice for you to see them but yeah in no way shape or form am I kind of bragging about you know the jewellery that I have um so yeah I do have some Vivian Westwood um earrings and I can just see that they aren't here in the box so yeah, I don't know where they are, but they will be around somewhere. But I'll start with, um, so this is my Vivian Westwood um, box that the earrings came in. They come in this absolutely gorgeous little pouch um, to keep them safe. Um, yeah, mine unfortunately are somewhere. I've got some jewellery from Swarovski now I absolutely love or I did love Swarovski to be honest um I mean I do still like the products in there but I do think that they are a lot more expensive now than they used to be um and because I don't wear jewellery very often I tend to wear more costume jewellery than anything but yeah I absolutely used to love Swarovski and I do still love the items that I'm going to show you and um, they do mean a lot to us so they always come beautifully wrapped in the boxes I always try to keep them in the boxes to keep them safe this is the first item um, this is a beautiful bracelet um, so this is it here it's got these lovely kind of um, diamonds on both ends and it just so this is like a dark grey colour and it just goes on like so um, yeah I'm sorry everyone this light isn't too good but that is how it looks it's so shiny and yeah I love this because it did kind of remind us of costume jewellery so um, I've had this for a number of years my husband bought us it for Christmas and I had been wanting it for probably about a year and I was just so ecstatic when I opened this one Christmas I also have another bracelet from 
the same place Swarovski this time it is a lighter grey bracelet I suppose you could use this as a choker I think some people do so it's like a long silver so it's kind of like a cage and it's got individual tiny little diamonds in there like Swarovski crystals in there um, and yeah it's got a magnetic clasp you could like I say use this as a choker again I double it round and then it just goes into place I'll show you what it looks like so that is it there super easy to get on and off um, you can obviously have it like that or you can crisscross it um yeah i just i love the bracelets from there and every time i have a night out i do use these but i very rarely have a night out so yeah probably they get used a couple of times a year so they are very very beautiful um i then have a um bracelet in here now this is actually a gucci bracelet and i bought myself this when i was very young and i had been working i hadn't been working for that long and um yeah i treated myself to it when i didn't have a family and this is what it looks like so it is this lovely bracelet um if i pop it on there you might be able to see it a bit better so yeah that is it there so this is just a little bracelet with the heart with the two G's and yeah it just fastens like so and do you know what like I say I've probably had this I don't know for about nearly 20 years and I think I've worn it twice you know so yeah I can't part with it because it does mean a lot but it's just such a shame because you know I just don't use it I've got some jewellery here that I got from um, Sylviax oh actually this one's empty because my daughter's got the necklace in our bedroom um, but yeah I got this gifted to me and it is a lovely necklace with my children's names on Ewan and Grace and I absolutely love it but again I've worn it probably twice um, and then in this little Pandora box to keep it safe I have a couple of rings in here so I have my engagement ring so I've had this again for about 20 year 21 year I also have my wedding ring with all of the individual diamonds and then I have a ring here which is similar but the diamonds go all the way around and this is a Pandora ring again never ever use them um, then I have again from Swarovski this is a set that I got myself um, with money off my mother-in-law and I've had this set for probably about 15 years um, it has got this lovely necklace with a really thick big um, diamond and then the matching earrings and yeah I mean I've probably used these I want to you know probably about five or ten times since I've had them um, and like I say I've had them for close to 20 years um, yeah it's actually quite heavy this necklace and it hangs really lovely I love how it is it kind of stops there and then you've got this bit that just hangs down it's actually really really lovely when it's on I then have um, another couple of necklaces this necklace here my mum bought me when I was about 12 no was I about 10 or 12 and it is this heart necklace and it opens and you can put photos in 
and yeah I'm not really into the colour gold now I do prefer like silvers and white golds but I just can't part with it um, but I've never worn it for more than 30 years and then I've got this little necklace here I don't know how well it'll pick up on the camera but it's this little heart and it's got three diamonds in and my husband bought me this for my 30th um, and yeah it means a lot but again I just don't wear it um, and then for Christmas um, just gone my husband bought me another pair of earrings from Swarovski and these are these are so cute these are like a little droplet um, and it's got this gorgeous little um, diamond that just dangles how absolutely beautiful are they um, and the good thing about these the the um, the little teardrop doesn't actually it's not stuck on so you can take it off and then you can just wear them like that if you wanted to so it kind of gives you two looks um, yeah so he got me them and I wore them on Christmas Day and then I've never had them on again so yeah I am quite bad and I do want to make an effort and try and wear some of my jewellery because I just think it's such a shame that you know they're just all in my wardrobe and they never get used okay so um this is the jewelry box i've managed to find it um if you don't like teeth look away now <laughs> so um yeah these are all of my daughter's teeth mostly there is a few in there that is from my son um and yeah i just pop them in there to keep them safe but yeah <laughs> ignore the teeth and i'll show you what is in here so I've got, like I said, this is mostly costume jewellery. So I've got a little bracelet here. Um, I've got another bracelet. I've got another bracelet here. That was from Next, I think. I've got a watch. So this is my DKNY watch that I got um, probably about 20 years ago as well. Um, yeah, I've got... Um, a ring in there I have got a necklace um, again I've got more earrings in there and I think I've only got one earring I used to love these these were from River Island but I think I lost the other one yeah I got these ones from Sheen um, again just some earrings um, and that is it everyone so I really hope that you enjoyed today's video it has been very different to the content that I normally do and that is it so take care everyone thank you so much for watching please remember to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel I think I'm kind of about a hundred subscribers away from my absolute goal which is a thousand subscribers so yeah I would love it if you wanted to consider subscribing and help me on my way to reach my goal and that is it everybody so bye for now